right? That was another question we had. Where are all the good men? The good men are in the same place where the good women are. Mm -hmm. They are hidden. Yeah. God, are pro God is protecting them. Yeah. They're going through the same emotional they the situation. They, they're at home right Hello. now wishing they had a woman on the side Hello. of them. A Hello. good woman on the side of them. Hello. They're asking the same question. Lord, where are all the good Hello. women at? The ones who want to keep themselves yep. from me. Yep. Where are they? Yep. They out there. Yeah, yeah. Just like you've been hidden, they've been hidden too. God just like loves you're them going too. Just like he loves you. Through too. <laughs> Don't let this world yeah. tell you the lies that there's no good men. Yes, the they devil are. is a yes, liar. They are. Yes, yes, it is. The media only wants you to know what you want what they want you to know and these are lies y'all are yeah. you kidding me yeah you telling me that god created a world with with unequalness uh no trust me there's plenty of men in the sea you cannot see them and they cannot see you because it's not the right time mm. but trust me they're there sweetie going through the same turmoil. Matter of fact, they probably in a private group too, talking amongst each other, talking about the same issues, the same struggles, wondering where you are, wondering why they haven't met you yet. Trust me, they out there. Yeah. But guess what? When you're not looking, when they're not looking, God's looking, and he will put them together. My husband said something so powerful to me. When we first got together, he said, God had to put him to sleep. Yeah, he did. See, he put Adam to sleep. I was just sleep. getting ready to go into that. And until Adam went to sleep, God that's could not. when Eve was developed, sweetie. Yep. Adam yep. wasn't looking for Eve. Yep. Matter of fact, Adam didn't even know he needed an Eve. Mm -mm. God knew he needed an Eve. That's right. God knew he needed a help me. That's right. God knew he was going to go ahead. But Adam did not. No. So a lot of people think that he who findeth a good thing. Be careful. Oh, he who finds a, a wife, wife findeth find a good, a good thing. thing. Y'all know who wrote that, right? Tell them who wrote it, baby. Solomon wrote that. How many concubines he had? <laughs> 900, right? Be and and 500 wives. What? What in the world this man doing? All these concubines and a wife. Telling you. That's t he telling you he who find of a wife find of a good thing. Really? Well, you got all these wives, you mean to tell me one of them wouldn't do? You need all of these wives? Is you crazy? Listen. So that goes to show you right there, something was wrong with him. So listen, when Christ came on the scene, he was already telling you what I did in the beginning, I still can do and will do now if you just let me. Yeah. Let me put these men asleep. They're not going to be looking for you until I'm ready for them They're not going to wake up. You. They're not going to wake up. Eve wasn't there to look for Adam. Nope. Adam was minding his own. As a matter of fact, Adam had everything. Adam had the, the He was a man, baby. He was, he was a, a man. man. He had man. everything he going saying, on. But he was missing one thing. Yes, sir. And not only that. When he went to sleep. Yeah. God took the rib from the man. Yeah. Y'all yeah. know, you know the story. Yeah, and anyway, made woman. But at the whole thing, nobody was looking for anybody. Mm -hmm. God was the one that did the ultimate hookup. I still believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the world say. I don't care what they, what, what, how many books they can read about all this and that. If God can do it then, he's the same he's still God doing then now. as okay. he is now. Hold on, let me break that down to them. Let me, let me, let me just break that down to she them. She say physically asleep or spiritually asleep? Both. Both, baby. Listen. <laughs> Listen. If he's physically asleep, all right, that means that he's not operating in his flesh. It's symbolic. Think about the symbolic Listen to of that. it. The reason why Adam was asleep, because Adam, God knew that Adam was going to choose who he wanted to be with. Listen. So what God did, God put him to sleep so Adam wouldn't interfere. He put him to sleep so Adam wouldn't operate in his flesh. He put him to sleep so Adam wouldn't choose who he wanted to be. And when God put him to sleep and took a rib out of Adam and made woman, Adam was still asleep. So while Adam was asleep, he was developing a relationship with Eve. Listen, and when he woke Adam up, listen, Adam didn't go find, Adam didn't go search, Adam didn't go look. Adam didn't go lick peep around the corner. He didn't look for no tree. He didn't see nobody behind a giraffe. <laughs> he wasn't in the building. All right. 
Listen, check this out. Check this out. God brought the woman unto the man. Listen that. Listen, listen to the scenario now. He took, he, the, woke, he took the rib out of Adam. Created. Kept, kept Adam asleep. Do, through the whole preparation. Developed the process with Eve. Set her down. Ministered to her. Talked to her. Spoke to her. So she'll know his voice. So she'll know who he is. Then woke up Adam. Listen. Whoop. Brought her unto Adam. Adam didn't go find. Adam didn't go search. Adam didn't go say, giraffe, get out my way. <laughs> Elephant, you stink. I don't want to smell none of your poo poo no more. He brought Eve unto Adam. And listen, listen. When he brought Eve unto Adam, then Adam said, now this is bone of my bone. And flesh, and flesh of my flesh. Because God had already prepared the whole process of connecting Adam and Eve together. Now, let me break this down to you. That was before sin interfered. Exactly. Be, be with me now. Be with me. I'm going to break this down to you. Be so, before sin interfered, before Adam and Eve committed sin, God put them together. Listen. After they committed sin... That broke the whole chain. Listen, that's why you see in the Bible, for there is only one particular account that I saw in the Bible where Abraham asked his servant to go. And he made his servant make a vow. Go and look for a wife for my son Isaac. Don't you go into this particular city, but go into that city. And you will find the wife for my son. Listen, that servant was wise enough to understand that he did not know how to choose the right mate for his master son, which was Isaac. And he prayed unto God and asked God to show him. He was specific. That's what you call wisdom. All right. So what I'm trying to even get at even into this point is that. When sin came in, that broke the chain. But God still was available to put things together if you ask. Okay? So when Christ died, listen, when Christ died, that put everything back in order now. From the beginning, even when it comes to husband and wife. That's why Jesus told the disciples and told the scribes and Pharisees what God have joined together. Let no man put asunder. What God have joined together. Adam and Eve, the same scenario, the same type of hookup. Let no man put asunder. So when Christ came and he died for the sins of the world, that's when it put everything back in order for God to start operating back into the realm of putting husband and wife together again. There you go. Um, this is your time. Talk to us. I see a lot of you guys have already commented. Um, Nicole said, it's like you're blind until God wakes you up to recognize it when it's time. That's how it happens. You got it, girl. You are in And that's you own it. right there. You own it, it. It's like a supernatural light. Bam, Bam! There it is. There and it that's is. what we were talking about that time when we were saying like she didn't know that I was her husband. Right. And I didn't know that she was my wife. I didn't know that she was my wife until June the 14th that day. He woke me up that day. And he spoke to me that day. June the 14th. Father's Day. It was not June the 13th, June the 11th, it wasn't June the 10th. Ten years prior it wasn't to that, 10 years prior to that. Prior. It was not three months before that. It wasn't that. when he was married. No. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it until that day. That's what we're talking about. When he supernaturally wakes you up that day, like, bam, what? there it is. And that's when he pursued, y'all. Mel says, thanks for doing this video, guys. I am not too sure how this is meant to happen when I don't attend a church building anymore. I probably sound like a doubting Thomas. I'm sorry. It has just been a really long, lonely road with lots of counterfeits. When you are 
not worried about how, when, where this man is going to come, he's going to come. Your man is already there. Yeah. I know you don't want to hear that. That don't mean you're supposed to go look I'm, for him. I'm telling you, <laughs> your man is already there. Yeah. He's somewhere. God has him if it's meant for you to be married. That's right. But also understand, your man is already, you already connected to your ultimate man. You got to believe that, though. You got to believe that God is your is husband. Your, yeah, you know, God you have is to your believe husband. that. He's your everything. Yes. He's your God. He's your father. He's your comforter. He, he's the one that sent the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. If you don't start believing the things of what Jesus Christ said your father is, this is where the enemy comes in to steal that. And okay, put and, and put, put doubt in your yes. heart. Opposed to what Jesus said. Remember, you can never go wrong when you go back and listen and learn what Jesus said you are. See, Jesus is the foundation. Always go back to that. When in, in, when in doubt, go back to what Jesus said in the very words. Go to Matthew and, and see the documentation of things that what Jesus said, who you are. Exactly. Um, Licia says, I do get approached and people persist on hooking me up. Yeah, I've been there, done that. When I tell them I'm waiting on God, they still seem to... They seem to don't, they seem not to understand. They're not going to understand. No, they're not going to understand. Karma they, they mind cannot that. understand the things of the no. spirit. Everyone's process no. is different. different. Yeah. Every Everyone is going to, a lot of people are, are very judgmental. They're very worldly minded. They don't believe, they don't have the faith like you. Trust me, when, when I stop dating, and people are like, well, how are you going to get mad if you don't date? See, that's the man. That's the worldly. That's the worldly way. I'm be like, not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by, by the renewing, renewing of your mind, mind, which you may know what is that perfect will, right. that good will, acceptable will, and perfect will of I God. am your living witness that dating doesn't have to exist no. for the one that God has for you. Me and Marshall never dated. We, we, we are living witness to all of the things of what the world says that you're supposed to do. We are living witness that, no, God does not opposite that way. And when he tried to date, he kept making the same mistake. Over and over again. The, the wrong, wrong one. Women, and over, over and over, and over, and over, and over and In over. other words, I was awake. <laughs> I, I never went to sleep until God approached me and searching. said, you keep continuing to choose every woman in your life. Right. Okay, God. And I cried. I cried like a baby. Because he was he was telling the truth. He was telling me, son, I know you want to be married to the right one. But you can't be married to the right one doing it your way. You have to do it the way I script it to be done. British Tony says, I don't date anymore because I am so bored. And that's my sign from God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, because you know what? God knows how to romance you, girl, like no man can. You hear me? Trust and believe. God can say words to you. It's just make your Ooh. inner side just like, oh, my gosh. He can just, whisper them I mean, something just, in your ear. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, like when you just by yourself and then the next thing you know, you hear this soft, smooth and voice. you start crying. You know, and you just like, oh, my God. that's. It. I mean, God's voice is just so beautiful. I mean, I'm a man. And I'm telling you. That God's voice is just so beautiful. You know, when I hear God's voice say something to me, it, it, it comes quick, but it comes so soft. And I'm be like, it's a caressing feel. You know, it's and I'm like, feeling. yes, Lord. I mean, he said, I'm, I'm, I got you, I mean baby. it's just, you know, so yeah, I mean, God knows how to romance you better than any man. Yes, and, man. And, and you have to be content and, and, and embrace that. Understand that, y'all. I'm telling you, when you do. He gonna blow your mind. Yeah, yeah and you ain't gonna want no man. Yeah. You gonna be like, what? Yeah. What? And God gonna say, go ahead and go. And now you gotta be obedient yeah. and go ahead and go and yeah. marry that man. That's when right. you know you right, like yeah. what? He wants us to talk to him. He yes, wants he us. Does. Yes, yes, he's he not does. like us. Yes, people talking about when you talk too much. Get, God wants you to talk to yeah. him, commune. How would you know him if you don't spend time with him? It's just like spending time with another person, another man. We know how y'all, when we first get, you know, try to get to know somebody, right? You talking to them mm -hmm. all time of night. You go, you, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. You still there? I'm still here. You back to sleep? Both of y'all about knocked out ready to hang up that phone. Y'all ain't tired? 
You're not tired of talking. Yeah. It's the same thing with God. God yeah. say, talk to me, baby. What you say? I'm right here. He wakes you up three o'clock in the morning. That's me. Mm. God say, Tanika Pro Bieber. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. I want to hear your voice. I ain't heard you in a while. Mm. I heard you do drive-by prayers. I need some intimacy. And see, you know what? Also, let's let's also get this straight too. Having a relationship with God is not hard work. It's not. It's only hard when that flesh intervenes. It's hard when you try to force yourself to have a relationship with God. Let it come naturally, y'all. Relationship with your father is a natural thing. It's like he's already there. He is I'm, already I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm reading one that says, I struggle with being consistent in my walk, in my with, walk with God. Okay, listen. What's your definition? First of yeah. all, Naya, what's your definition, definition of, of walk with God? Walk because with God. When I was... Come on, single, now. And yeah. before I started operating in the Holy Spirit, Spirit right. I thought um, walking with the Lord mean I had to be in the church. That's right. Every time it opened. That's right. I had to read my Bible, Bible. That's every right. single day. Those are works. I had to pray on yep. my knees yep. every single day. Yep. I had to go to ministry yep. every single day. I had yep. to help. Some God is saying, yep. listen, baby. Listen. Let's go back to, I will give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. I used to do so much work, and I thought I was... You thought you were walking with God. I thought I was walking with God. <laughs> I thought I was doing a good thing. Right, right, I, thought, right. I was like, hey, I check, right, check, right. I do that, I'm right. great, ha, ha, and I'm tired, but I'm struggling, yeah. but I'm doing it. And God said, but yet, yeah, you tripping about me not giving you the desires yeah. of your heart, but you haven't delighted in me yet. Yeah, don't walk with God, have a relationship with God. God There's say, a difference. <laughs> you, keep, you keep barking on yeah. that verse. Right. Yeah. God, you said you're going to give me the desires of my heart, and I'm yeah. struggling here, and I'm trying. And God said, but you haven't read the verse before yeah. that. The verse says, delight yourself in me. Right. Then I had to look it up, y'all. You know, I had, I'm a beginner. I said, okay, I think I'm smart. I got a degree. Let me figure out what delight myself in him because I'm thinking I'm delighting. I've done all of those things. I've listed them. And you telling me I still got issues in delighting? Delighting just means please. Yeah. Do what's pleasing unto me. That's well, right. God, well, I'm doing X, Y, Z. None of these things that are pleasing to no, me. No. He said, baby, you working. Yeah. You being a Martha. Right. I need a Mary. There you go. And which one, was, which one was Mary? Mary was the one that was sitting there, at, what? At his at his feet. feet. Martha working and working, working and working and working. Come on now. And matter of fact, all that working is yeah. called... Listen, I... Say it. She was doing them doggone dishes. Listen, y'all think you're doing ministry. I yeah. thought I was doing yeah. ministry. No. He said no. you're doing eulistry. Yeah, eulistry. See, it's about you. You doing do do? what you want to do, <laughs> thinking that you pleasing me. That ain't ministry. No. I want you to sit at my feet. feet. I want you to serve you me. You there know you how I do that? Obey. That's all. A lot it's of stuff simple. you have to put on your it's plate. It's simple. A lot of stuff you put on right. your plate. It's I didn't simple. tell you to put on your no. plate. See, what I tell you to put on your plate, yeah. it's a balance. Right. See, you got your protein. <laughs> yeah. You got your spiritual right. uh, carbs. Right. You got just a little bit of carbs. Right. You got your, your, your vegetables. He said everything is nicely balanced. Yes. You put the potato chips on That's there. right. And call it ministry. And then put some hot sauce on some, <laughs> you put Who told you to do all that? <laughs> You put some cookies on there yeah. and call it ministry. Right. He said, you have piled so much stuff, you don't even have time right. for me. Right. Because you working here, working there, doing this, every, doing everywhere. Yeah. And what I need you to be is at my hey, yeah. feet. And that's not hard to do. It's not. Relaxing you know, that, that, just put, you put yourself in a situation like this. If you were a parent, if you are a parent, and you got a child walking with you, I guarantee you that child going to get tired before you. If you're walking with a little child, right, and you're bigger than the child, that child is going to get tired before you. See? So the child is walking with you, and you pulling the child with you. Why would your father take you and say, ah, come on here, come on, come on now, come on with me now. You better come on now, what's wrong with you? You better get on and get them feet on. Come. No. This thing that we're talking about, don't walk with God, have a relationship with God. Listen, and he'll take you where he needs you to go. Don't walk Just with God. Him. Have relationship with God and let God be the one take you. Right. Someone, um, Licia said it 
talk to him like a best friend. That's it. It's simple. That's personal I relationship. Talk to God like thou yeah. shalt ask. I don't yeah. do that. Ooh, oh my thou God. God, thou God, like, yes, oh wow. God, look at him. Your daughter mm. needs you right now. Yeah. This joker right here, <laughs> I need you to help me. Mm, yeah. And he does the same thing. Same thing. And when I was seeing you, I did the same thing. Yeah. God, I need you. I cannot do this by myself. I'm about to sin. I'm about to go berserk. And I need you. Y'all, he will help you. It's not a struggle. We make it a struggle when we want to do what we want to do. And we're doing like this with God. Back and forth. God said, no, I ain't fighting with you. So when you're ready to calm down and be a married, I tell you what I want you to do. And when I tell you what I want you to do, mm -hmm. it will not be a struggle, baby. Mm -hmm. It's going to be with ease. Trust, yes. trust and believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was telling Vito the other day, it took me 10 years Come on. to get to the point. Mm. 10, y'all. 10 years to get to the point where I said, God, you know what? See that? Now listen to what she just said, y'all. Not my will. Thou will be now. I was struggling for some of y'all ten whole years. Some of them in their second year, baby. Until <laughs> I got to that point, I said, God, you know what? If you don't have, a, if you don't yeah. want me to be yeah. married, help me to be content in that decision that you made because Come you on. know best. But it took you ten years to it get there. It took me ten years, but when I said that and meant that thing and lived that thing, here I go. Three months later, here I go. Here come Vito. <laughs> I said, <laughs> seriously? Uh -huh. So you telling me? I don't waste it. You could have did that the first year. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been right there the first year. You held up my blessing. God don't. No. You held up me. He held who's holding up my blessing. See, that's what it is. See? Okay, God I, just waited are, on you at that moment. We're Go ahead. almost finished. We're almost finished. We're almost there. Um, it's amazing that there is a long there is a longing for us, God's children, to soak up and learn this knowledge. May I petition Vito and Marsha <laughs> a book, a DVD, on stage play, state to state conference. This is a lot if of sweet knowledge in that many. Well, don't we keep telling y'all when we coming to a city near you. <laughs> He's so crazy. I'm serious, y'all. This thing is happening. We can't share it with y'all. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all, huh? we're gonna praying. be on stage and everything, acting out all of this stuff. You're doing this stuff. Well, I'm telling y'all, y'all better crazy. buy them doggone tickets, too. <laughs> buy them tickets. Tamara said, you two are such a blessing to the body of Christ. Y'all are a blessing, seriously. We do this because we love, we just love y'all. We love people. We want you guys to experience what we experience the right way. We want you guys to understand it can, it still exists. I don't care what the devil say. Romance still exists, okay?